Hello, YouTubians. <laughs> so, it's... I don't actually know what day it is. Hold on. It is Sunday the 26th of February. I've vlogged in ages. And I feel really bad about that. My hair's a freaking mess. Um, so I kind of just woke up. And, uh, yeah, so I thought I'd do a quick catch-up with kind of what's going on and stuff. And um, there's stuff that I can't talk about yet, um, uh, but eventually we'll get around to it, and, uh, and other things that are going on. Um, but, uh, yeah, we, um, we went down to see Laura yesterday in London, because she's down from Glasgow, which was a lot of fun, actually. She, uh, we basically, um, we... For Lent, we decided to be vegan, we go vegan, um, and it's been a lot of fun actually, and um, so we went to a vegan place with her friend, Elijah, who's also a vegan, um, it was so good, it was called 222's, 222 in London, and they did this stroganoff, oh, it's so good, I mean, I mean, I, oh, I could just, in my face, just all the time, not all the, all the time, all, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, oh, I haven't vlogged in ages, and I feel really bad about it. I'm like, I know I go on about this all the time and, and stuff, and I guess I should be. Really, I, mean, I have footage, but I kind of feel like all my vlog is done in the cats on bed footage, which isn't exactly good vlogging. Um, and I need to take my. Um, camera out the house with me because I completely forget to do it. Um, okay, so I'm reading Monday morning. Ooh. I haven't really talked about the books that I've read this so far this year. I think I've talked about some of them. Um, the last book I read was Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, the unabridged version. It was very good, very good, I enjoyed it. Um, for such a small book, it took me quite a while to read it because of the wording. It was so... It was worded really kind of complicated. Well, it's not complicated. It was, it was just like... Just horrendously long words to make sentences. And it was just like... So you'd read a chapter and you felt like you'd read ten, you know. Um, so that's why I kind of went back from the classics to uh, my favourite author. I haven't read this one. I'm already on chapter 15 and enjoying it very much. So, have you seen my my poor tatty little little uh, what's it called bookmark? This isn't laminate. It's it's tape basically that Mum did because it was basically this is ripping. This is ripping off as well. It's just thingy, but I've had it for so long and. I can't bear to part with it yet, so I don't really want to bin it, so I'm just like, until it disintegrates, it will have to do. Um, yeah, I've been thinking I might do another, uh, song cover to post on here, um, but I'm not sure about it. Uh, uh, I'm a bit hesitant. I mean, I put quite a lot of my stuff that I do on YouTube, I haven't put any kind of stuff that means a lot to me because, in all honesty, I don't feel like I could handle it being trolled. I mean, I can handle, I can handle a certain amount of stuff, like, you know, you want to call me fat? Yeah, I'm fat. You want to call me ugly? Yeah, okay, whatever. Um, you want to call me dumb? Okay, that's fine. Um, and I'm okay with that, you attacking me personally, but for me to put something that I do creatively, like painting or, um, or singing, I like singing. Singing is a, is something that I really enjoy and I don't think I can handle not singing. I don't think I could handle somebody just being like, you're the worst singer ever, just go and die. It's, and you get some really horrible comments on YouTube. I mean, trolling is the only life. Hello, Mr. B. You want to say hello to the YouTubians? How you doing, huh? Huh? Are you okay? Is it dinner time? Oh, I hear Starry. Yeah. My life. And you buy cats. 
he wants to be fed. Hasn't been fed yet. It's lunchtime. Um, I should probably get out and feed him. So yeah. Oh, baby. Oh, such a fussy boy. We currently, uh, oh, we had, we had such a, I, see this is the thing, when I press record on the webcam ones, I could talk for ages, because I just don't know when to stop, and my mind is like, boom, 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 with kind of stuff, so, um, maybe I should do them more often, um, but, as I was going to say, uh, we had to take Gizzy to the vets on an emergency bloody thing, it was horrendous, I mean, uh, so basically, <laughs> we sat watching uh, something on Netflix and we we're having lunch and it's like, you know, relaxy, relaxy and, you know, all this kind of stuff. And um, we'd, we'd been ringing ESA to try and get them to uh, pay me because they hadn't, which was just like such a pain in the ass. Um, we'd pay our rent, you know, which is kind of important. Um, anyway, so uh, so we were struggling with that and then Gizzy's like comes out of the kitchen and I just see him in the corner of my eye and Mr. B is like why are you what are you doing you know kind of thing and Mr. B normally would do that um and she did that to Gizzy he did that to Gizzy and I look at Gizzy and she's spazzing out she's like running backwards and forwards and kind of shaking her mouth and things and I realize there's blood coming out of her mouth so I'm like oh my god she's choking on something what the fuck I don't I have no idea and uh and so, <laughs> so we end up having to chase around the fracking house, you know. So we have to, we run upstairs, she goes under the bed, we go around the bed, she goes downstairs, she goes in the living room. We shut the door for the living room so she can't get out of the living room and then we can catch her. Try and have a look to see if she's uh, choking. She seems to, she was breathing okay, although labored. Uh, and we're like, oh my god, what the fuck is going on? This is like serious business. And, um,. I can almost not look at myself with the camera. Just, like cover this up. <laughs> um anyway, so uh basically we I ran the vets and I was like freaking out at this point because there's blood all over her mouth and all this kind of thing and I was like, oh and um so we basically I ran the vets and they're really good vets. I mean these are the best vets that we've had, the Chapel Field vets in Norwich. Um and basically, we uh, we rang them up, and I was like, uh, "We need that uh, URL. Uh, my cat's bleeding from the mouth. She doesn't seem to be. She seems to be having trouble breathing. All this kind of stuff." And um, and they're like, "Okay, okay. We have a, an appointment at six. And I'm like, "Is there anything that we could do sooner? Because you know, it was like three o'clock, and it'd be like waiting several hours." And they were like, "Yeah, we could bring her in as an S seven." Um, and I was like, "Okay, if we get to now, that's fine. You know, call whatever you know you want." Um, <laughs> so she's like, okay, bring her in now, and you get basically, uh, we'll, um, squeeze her in, the vet will see her when she can, uh, in between other appointments, you know, that kind of thing. So, um, so we, so we go in, and we, uh, go through the door, we basically, uh, talk to the receptionist, and she's like, yeah, and she gets a, um, a nurse to look at Gizzy instantly. Um, so we didn't even have to sit down, and the nurse is a bit like, I have no idea what is going on, kind of thing. Um, she she knew that she didn't need oxygen, uh, which was good, and she wasn't like choking or anything. Um, but she didn't really know anything other than that, and so she was like, "Okay, sit down, and I'll get the vet to look at her because you know it was kind of higher level." Um, so the vet calls us in, and uh, which was probably barely like a five ten minute wait it was it was awesome they saw us so quickly and basically the vet basically basically i'm saying basically a lot i don't know basically the vet they stop it the vet took her opened her mouth and looked inside and stuff and basically she had rotten teeth and we're just like we feed them the most expensive cat food, the best stuff for the teeth and the gums and the healthy body, by science plan and irons. And then we buy whiskey's pouches, you know, for its easy digestibility and all this kind of stuff. We try and get them the best stuff for their, for their, well, complete bodies, basically. And she's got rotten bloody teeth. And we're just like, I'd expect it from Starry because occasionally I will feed Starry sweet things because she really enjoys sweet things. 
so she likes having some of my porridge or a piece of fudge and I only ever give her little little bits um, so I'd expect Starry's teeth to be really, no no her, her teeth are fine you know um, Dizzy's rotten rotten through and it looked like basically she tried to pull it out and she's all her gums were inflamed and all this kind of stuff so um so we uh so they basically said we're gonna we're gonna give her emergency dental dental surgery and we're like okay and they're like <laughs> so we um so we kind of hand her over and uh and they're like come back at six and it was like three o'clock, so it was like barely a couple of hours later when we go pick her up. And they they told us that they've taken two teeth out that were completely rotten. That she's going to need more dental surgery um, to clean her teeth and all this kind of stuff. And they want to see her in four weeks' time, all this kind of thing. Um, and they're just like, what? What? How? What? Why have you got rotten teeth? And we asked the vets. We said, is it is it anything we're feeding her? Is it you know anything? And she said. Some cats just have particularly bad tartar buildup, and that they need more help through it. And there are ways to kind of help it if you get like toothpaste or mouthwash or stuff for cats. Um, so we might have to look into that. That's going to be fun. Um, so yeah, so it's just this kind of big, oh my god, you know, what the hell? Where did that come from? Kind of thing. My cat's being whisked off, or well, our cat's being whisked off to uh, have emergency dental surgery. So, yeah, uh, so that was pretty much the excitement for uh, last week. Hello, Pippi. You're a mouse, isn't you? Huh? She's stretching. Oh, oh. It's time to show you now. Do you, do you want to be on camera? Oh, come on, normally you always want to be on camera. Getting coy today. So, yes, so I, I'm going to try vlog some more. I got to not start on this, this, this kind of route of thinking. I'm going to try vlog more and I need to do it more. I'm really, really awkward. Jellyfish is awkward. Um, <laughs> so, yes, I will. I would keep up with it. I've been really ill recently, and that's because of Miami and what I've got in CFS, quite fatigued and very fibromyalgia, which apparently I've now been diagnosed with as well. Um, oh, that's like a whole other conversation, ranting about that, please. Um, so, yeah, just waiting for mum to get home. Okay, this is why it's better for me to have a camera in my hand that I can't see myself because I'm just staring at myself. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye, Utopians. I love you with the deepest of my heart. Goodbye.